Welcome to the instructional video for LEGO Robotic Engineering course, part three. Here we'll be discussing gear ratios. In your kit, you will find four different gears. You'll have the large gear, one of the two middle gears, and the very, very small gear. Believe it or not, these two gears seem to be the most popular amongst kids. You can get a good gear ratio out of them, something to build for power, speed, or one-to-one, -one, and I'll discuss that in a second. The first thing you should know is that when you put one gear against another gear and it turns, it spins the other gear. That is pretty easy and very basic to understand. What isn't as easy to understand is how these gears will spin on each other depending on where they are in your robot. Gears can be known as driven gears, driver gears, or input and output gears. An input gear is any gear that's attached to the motor. So before we had our structure, and I'll slide that over. And what I've done on our structure is I've attached the gear to the motor. Because this gear is attached to the motor, it is called the driver gear. A driver gear is an input gear. And basically, the reason they call it an input gear is because it's the power is being put into the system through this gear. So it's, it's kind of easy to understand. Once you get the understanding of it, coming up with the right gear ratio for your team is also very easy and basic. If this gear was our input gear or our driver gear, and this gear was our output gear or what's called a driven gear, this one would be attached to your wheel. And every time this guy would spin, he would force this little guy here to spin as well. Now this gear is twice the size of that gear. This is called a two to one gear ratio. He is 16 times the size of this one. It's called the 16 to 1 gear ratio. And every time he spins, that little guy spins too. And then finally, this is 8 to 1. Depending on how much power or speed you want, you have to figure out how you're going to put these together. So if this gear here spins one rotation and this little guy here is half the size of him, every time this guy spins once, this little guy will spin twice. In fact, it'll go that way. So this is called the two to one, like I said. So if this is the motor and this is your wheel, your wheel is spinning twice as fast as the motor. And if we reverse them, same gears, just a different position now. Now this one is your input gear. It would be attached to your motor and that would be your output gear. If this one is your input gear and this is your output gear, every time this guy spins once, your output gear, because it's twice the size of the input gear, would only spin halfway around. Therefore, this thing is going half as fast as your input gear. One of them is speed, and one of them is power. Let's find out which one. Here is our robot. I'm going to set it up so that you can see the side view of it. And this is our gear. Now I've built a stacked level on my basic structure. And the reason I built the stacked level is because if I try to put this gear in here, you can see that it overlaps the other gear, so they don't really work together. And if I move it over one hole, it doesn't actually touch. We want them to touch. So the only way to do that is to build up, or I can build down, but once I get to a level, I can spin them. And you can see that they spin pretty well. Once I have that set up, this now set up, I have it set up where the big wheel, the big gear I should say, is on my motor, and my little gear is going to be on my wheel. So I'll take my wheel and I'll add it to there. Now on the other side of this, I have the same two gears, but now the little gear is on my motor. That's my input gear or my driver gear. And my big gear is on going to be connected to my wheel. And that is my driven gear or my output gear. An output gear is called an output gear because whatever power is being put into the system is coming out of this guy. Output gear. Okay, so now I have my two wheels. Now I'm going to connect my attachments, and underneath here you can see that there's a little electrical um, metal pieces that we have to attach to the squares. Just double check, make sure I'm on the right side. Good. So now I will press this one, and you can see how fast that wheel is moving. It's moving pretty fast. When I flip it over, same gears, 
the wheel is spinning now half as fast as it was before. Now to show you both wheels spinning. Believe it or not, this guy is spinning twice as fast as that one. Very easy. The faster the wheel spins, the faster the, the robot will go. The slower the wheel spins, the more power you will have. So if you want speed, you build for speed. You want power, you build for slowness because that's what's going to help you get power. And that is how gear ratios work.